everyone. I've never looked and felt so, I actually look like a ghost. I've never felt and looked so rough in my whole life. I am up at 6.40 right now on my way to a training session in the pouring rain with my friend Millie, who's behind me, <laughs> and my mum. So, you know, none of us can go It's going to be outside. But the fact we're doing it. Oh yeah, it's session. outside training. To say. Outside, outside training, this is the weather. No, it's annoying me because you can't even see. You literally can't you can see. It. You can hear it. It's pouring down. <laughs> right, update. Clearly back from our workout. And even though I didn't film anything, I promise you, and we did go and do it. And it was hard. It literally poured it down of rain. But honestly, I actually think the hardest part is just getting there. I mean, when I got there, I was like freezing. But after a while, like jackets are off even when it's pouring because it's just so hot and sweaty. And honestly, I'm just glad that I did it. I'm going to try and do it every single morning this week. So that is the plan. Also, also then went and got my nails done which a lot of you guys have realized is something I get way too regularly keep getting my nails done because basically a lot of the time I don't have time to actually get like a full set so I keep just getting infills but then obviously they fall off easier then I chip ones and then I get them painted again and I've just had shoots and stuff like that so anyway I've got ombre and I blooming love them they're like a pink sort of like ombre and I love and also I've lost my toenail so I had to get an acrylic on my big toe and honestly it just it looks so much better so that is the update, went straight to the nail shop, just got my car cleaned, which I am so happy about. Honestly, it looks like a brand new car again. I mean, the outside was like clean anyways, but just the inside, you know how it just gets messy and stuff. So it was just, it was nice to get it cleaned. So it like I've got a brand new spanking clean car and it's just oh, so exciting. I love driving it anyways, and I'm even more excited to drive it now. But anyway, situation is I'm sat in a pile of mess because I just got back from Tyler's house. I need to unpack my suitcase. Well, I have unpacked my suitcase, but it's just all over the floor. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna tidy up. I've also just done some worky bits. I basically just shot some bits for Gymshark. You guys know, literally the only sportswear brand that I wear is Gymshark. I flipping love them, they're incredible. I've got their leggings on right now. Oh, my leg just clicked doing that. Jeez, Saf. Um, but yeah, so I've just done some bits for them, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, that is the situation. Was gonna get, by the way, my belly button pierced today, which is something I've been wanting to do for such a long time. But my thing is, can everyone let me know down in the comments if you've had it done? Because I know if you had it done years ago, you probably can't remember. But if you've had it done quite recently, could you please let me know? Could you do stuff after it? Like, I don't really care about the initial pain. That doesn't bother me. I can get over that. But my thing is, like, if I can't work out and stuff, it's gonna really annoy me. Like, if it rubs too much, I don't know. I don't know like what it's going to be like. But if anyone could let me know who's recently had it done or remembers what it was like after they had it done, please let me know in the comments. Is that more stuff that I need to put away? Mm -hmm. Yes. I've literally got back for one day and the house is messy again, isn't it, Mum? Yes, I have. But how much did you miss me? I how much? You come here. Come case. here. Come on, quickly. Come here, please. <laughs> I've actually got some really exciting news. I could cry as well. This one's going to miss me so much. I mean, she's renovating a house. It's going to take about a year, so it's not going to No, it's going to take like eight months. I literally put it an offer in a house years. over the weekend and it got accepted. I literally cannot believe it. Honestly, Honestly, mental to me. I cannot believe I've bought my own house and I'm gonna be renovating it. So it's literally gonna be like my dream home. I'll probably live in it for like pretty much forever. Um, it's just hopefully it maybe not forever, but for, for at least like ten years no, with everything I want to do to it. No, with everything I want it, I don't know. But oh my goodness, I'm just so excited. Like I just want it to be very neutral, like wood beams on the ceiling. I mean, you guys, you'll get the gist once I start building it. But yeah, so there will be You're a moving it, series coming soon. Part of it I'm going to be building. You're renovating it. Renovate. Okay, renovating so it. So I'm struggling thing. between building and renovating. Oh, <laughs> yeah, basically. Anyways, I'm super excited about that. That has put me in the best mood. I can't even tell you. Anyways, I'm tired to tidy my room. Where are you going, Geese? I'm going to show you something. I'm just waiting here. Oh, okay. She's coming with houses and she's trying to explain the difference between building and renovating a house. But I understand what you renovating don't. is, but I want to you knock keep off going. the whole top of the house. No, you want to knock the whole... It doesn't matter, I'm not having this argument. Okay, right. yeah. <laughs> anyways. Okay. Um, you did actually just ruin my big surprise there, even though I've told the world on every other social media anyways. But you still ruined the big surprise what? What? that I'm moving house. 
Why did I ruin it? Because you said it before I said it. That's not ruined then, it's just that I told it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even say it, I just said you were renovating a house. You could be renovating someone else's house, you could yeah, be a builder. Yeah, true. Anyways, yeah, that's big she news in my house. life. It's going to take forever, huh? She bought a house all by herself, going to have her own little house. Mum's gonna have a bedroom. It's gonna be cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And also, and I'm gonna have a gym, which I'm so excited about. I can't. We just even bought a house say. too. Yeah, today, our house has just sold. How weird is this? Same day, our house is sold. Well, our house did sell ages ago. Yeah, and it all fell through. Mm -hmm. But now it's just sold again. So. Yeah, Yay. so, but we think this is like literally going to go straight through. So yeah. it's going to be like, it's crazy times. A lot is happening. So there's going to be a lot of moving vlogs. So much better I feel like I just really needed to just unpack my case and just sort my room out because it was stressing me out and anyone that knows me knows I'm the messiest person and so for me for that to stress me out was like big deal I feel like ever since I bought the house which is only like a day ago not bought the house but like you know my offer got accepted I feel like I'm just gonna be so much cleaner tidier more organized and just feel like I'm more on top of it now I feel like I've got to because obviously owning a house is like such a huge responsibility so I'm just trying to you know keep the space around me tidy which also Tyler will be extremely happy about because he is so tidy and I'm so not and he absolutely hates it and same with the rest of my family but yeah so that's just something I'm trying to do and just be more organized and on top of it so i feel great that's done i'm actually gonna go to the shop i'm actually really craving one of those grenade bars the birthday cake ones are my absolute favorite and i just want one so bad i've been craving one all day so i'm gonna go to the shop get one of those and then i'm actually gonna go to my grandparents house to go and see them and i'm really excited to see them especially because they're actually moving house as well which is crazy like everyone's moving and they literally to walk to theirs would take me five minutes so i'm so excited about that like i'm literally gonna be living down the street from my grandparents house so i can't wait say hi, hi. missed you oh, the vlog missed you too <laughs> oh, thank you for <laughs> oh my goodness this is what i've been craving she got the goods this is the situation just filmed a haul that will be up on my channel some point this week i hope haven't done a haul in what feels like forever i mean i know i do do some on like my vlogs and stuff but i you don't really see them on youtube anymore so i did i don't really know if you guys want to see that i don't know i just basically thought i'd put all the pieces that i bought recently over the past like couple of months and you know yeah she went to town so look out for that video i got an absolute oh my goodness what is in this box is my favorite thing ever i know i said that about everything but oh my goodness you wait until you see it i'm literally one happy girl and i cannot wait to use it so yeah look out for that video and let me know if you do want to see hauls and stuff because or if you just kind of want me to keep them to my vlogs because i know it isn't really something we do on youtube anymore but i loved watching stuff like that i love watching like favorite videos products i've been loving stuff like that i remember that was like such a good time on youtube i mean to be honest it reminds you like of zoella but they were just like my favorites like monthly favorites i would watch every month so i'm kind of gutted that that faded out to be fair but maybe it did for a reason i don't know let me know i can't even believe what i've been sent by the way from dyson they have sent me their brand new straightener i mean i don't actually know how new it is now but i know it's the newest thing that they brought out so basically it's a cordless straightener which is incredible i think it's the only one i've literally like ever heard of before especially the only good one so this is actually insane because i've actually had this used on my hair before and i've wanted it for like such a long time but i thought oh i have a straightener anyways until my hair stylist uses on me i wanted it so much more and then literally a week later look look what i get sent this is just crazy i mean it's insane basically how it works is obviously you have to like charge this if you want to use it cordless but you also can obviously use it with a wire as well so you don't have to wait for it to charge every time if you're at home you can plug it in otherwise if you want to like throw it in your bag not literally because i don't think i'll just be throwing this in my bag but then you can so yeah pretty insane thank you dyson also they sent me such a cool color update decided to run myself 
bath. So all I've wanted to do actually all day. So after I got back from my workout session this morning, my friend Millie that we went with, um, I asked her what she was doing today. She was like, I don't know, I might just watch a movie. Never since she said that, I said to mum, I was like, I would just never watch a movie in the middle of the day just because I feel like I never have enough time. Like, even if I do nothing, I could waste hours watching YouTube, but I would just tell myself that I don't have enough time to watch a movie. So I've just been wanting to do that so bad. So I've been unsure whether to watch a movie or to stick on some YouTube because quite honestly, I'm so lost with YouTube at the moment. Like I don't really know how I feel about it. I absolutely love it. I love making videos. I love vlogging. I actually really enjoy watching it too, but I just have no ideas and thank you so much everyone that always tweets me ideas and stuff it's so lovely and sweet but literally the only videos i get asked to do is videos with um my boyfriend tyler and i feel like my whole channel just can't be the two of us so i don't know i just feel like i'm in a little bit of a stuck situation but i'll hopefully get through it i just feel like there's no real like trends or anything on youtube at the moment so it's just quite annoying but i feel like i also haven't been watching it enough either so that might like play a big part in it i don't know so my plan was just to in the bar maybe watch some youtube and then when i get out i'll watch a movie before i go to bed and something i used to do with tyler a lot was actually watch a movie together over facetime when we weren't with each other because we can't exactly just drive down to each other's house because we live five hours away from each other so i just asked him if he would watch a movie with me and he said he would so i think that's the plan and also sid just put on her story that she watched how to lose a guy how to lose a guy in 10 days i think it's called and it's a movie i've always heard of and never watched so i think we might watch that oh my goodness i'm watching james is house tour that he just uploaded and oh it just makes me want to move even more and like i'm so excited movie choice is up how do you feel about my movie suggestion? Um, well, I've not watched it yet, so I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, here goes movie night. Is that the old times, Ty? I know. <laughs> thought you put your middle finger up then. I was going to say rude. No, I was doing peace. God, I'm not rude. Right, we're about to have movie night now. I look quite rough, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Aww. You're only saying that because the FaceTime's on. That because the vlog's on. <laughs> I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys have enjoyed somewhat a day in my life. Can yeah, I, I was. What'd you say? Can I say the end bit? No, not today. You've had your time. I'm actually uploading a video, I think the same day that this goes up, hopefully if I get it up edited tonight for tomorrow, a video which is my brother versus Tyler. So definitely do go and check that out. It just reminded me as I was on FaceTime to him. But anyways, with like the whole house situation, I'll make sure I keep you guys in the loop and everything. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog and I shall see you soon. I'm going to go watch How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. So hopefully it's a good, good suggestion. Are you getting tips from that, by the way? Huh? Are you getting tips from this film? How to tips. lose a guy in 10 days? What do you mean am I getting tips? As in, are you trying to find out ways how you can lose me inside 10 days? Yeah, pretty much. That's the plan. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you soon. Bye. Say bye, Ty. Bye. <laughs>